Silva Casino was born on August 22, 1933, in Zagreb to a Greek father and a Polish mother and died on December 26, 1994. Her family moved to Italy when she was still young. She was a science student at the University of Naples, she embarked on the cinema. She was elected Miss Dot Opa in 1952. Beautiful and spiritual, she was hired by many directors, in 1958 she acted in 11 films, and in 1962, in 8 films, and obtained salaries which enabled her to embark on the construction and development of a particularly luxurious house. In the Marino district of Rome. The maintenance costs led her to sell this luxurious residence in 1976. These are my top 10 movies for Silva Casina. At number 10. Skyriders Attack, 1970. Sicily, July 1943, we are at the heart of the Second World War, and some 100,000 soldiers of the Idolo, German coalition are surrounded by Anglo, American troops. To weaken their attackers, the Italians have the idea of depriving them of fuel, by destroying the source of their supply, the oil wells of the islands of Bahrain. The mission was entrusted to the squadron of bombers Savoia Marchetti SM-79 under the command of the Italian Rodolfi who since the Crete, will direct operations with the help of agent Pablo Vallejo of Francoist Spain. At number 9. Toto in the Moon, 1958. An Italian errand boy is offered a trip to the moon after it's discovered his physiology is suited to space travel. America wants to send a rocket to the moon. A group of advanced extraterrestrials, represented on screen by a pair of animated Mr. Peeper's eyes, do not want primitive humans poking around in space and keep sabotaging their rockets. At number 8. The Secret War of Harry Frigg, 1968. Five Allied officers are captured in Tunisia during World War II and are incarcerated in a comfortable Italian mansion. A private, who has a knack for escaping from prison camps, is promoted to Major General and given the task of helping the officers to escape. His valiant attempts are temporarily thwarted, however, by his desires for the mansion owner and the luxury in which the soldiers find themselves. At Number 7. Ricky and Barabba, 1992. Ricky E. Barabba is a comic genre film from 1992, directed by Christian De Sica, with Renato Pizzetto and Christian De Sica. Duration 93 minutes. Distributed by Penta Distribution Penta Video, Medusa Video, Nuggets. Ricardo Morandi is a billionaire on the verge of bankruptcy due to some debts incurred with banks that had decided to finance him in the production of a special catalytic converter, whose patent has mysteriously disappeared. At number 6. Hornet's Nest, 1970. Rock Hudson is an American commando sent to blow up a dam in Hornet's Nest, a 1970 World War II action adventure set in 1944 Italy as the Allies advance on the German occupation force. Directed by Phil Carlson who direct also, Held to Eternity, Kid Galahad, The Silencers, The Wrecking Crew and Walking Tall, the movie was an American-Italian co-production filmed in Italy with a mostly all-Italian cast and crew. The movie became a must-see movie for a lot of people when it turned up on TV throughout the 70s. At number 5. A Lovely Way to Die, 1968. Hard-bitten police detective Jim Schuyler, Kirk Douglas, turns in his badge out of frustration with the system's increasingly lenient treatment of career criminals. Becoming a private eye, Schuyler takes his first case from slick defense attorney Tennessee Fredericks, Eli Wallach, who wants him to protect his beautiful client, Rena Westbrook, Silva Casina, who is about to stand trial for her husband's murder. Soon Schuyler finds himself drawn deeper than he expected into Rena's life. At number 4. I See Naked, 1969. Seven sketches including the title sketch Vito Nudo, in which a fashion editor begins to see naked women everywhere he goes. This gentle sex comedy is told in seven episodes, all of them starring Nino Manfredi in various overheated roles, from a trained fetishist to a man accused of deflowering a hen, a cinematic indignity Gene Wilder, and Woody Allen would inflict on a sheep three years later. The audience wants to see pretty girls in a comic number, the director Dino Risi would later observe. At number 3. Deadlier Than The Male, 1967. When two oil company executives are found dead, insurance company investigator Hugh Bulldog Drummond, Richard Johnson, is brought onto the case. Soon, Drummond and his young mod nephew, Robert, Steve Carlson, are circling the globe on the trail of a pair of gorgeous assassins, Irma, Elkie Summer, and Penelope, Silva Casina, who dispatch important businessmen 
after ensnaring them with their feminine wiles. The film updates a popular 1920s British mystery series for the swinging 60s. At number 2. Hercules Unchained, 1959. Hercules, Steve Reeves, returns to Greece with his bride, Iole, Silva Casina, and their young companion, Ulysses, Gabrielle Antonini, after a number of perilous escapades at sea. The three are immediately beset by a series of trials, each more difficult than the last, and also learn that the kingdom is on the verge of collapsing into civil war. Hercules must defeat his enemies and unite the people, while resisting the magical allure of the beautiful Queen Omphale, Sylvia Lopez. At number 1. Hercules, 1958. After the quick thinking of Hercules, Steve Reeves saves Princess Iole, Silva Casina, he is tasked with training her irresponsible brother, Iphitus, Mimo Palmara, to assume their father's place as king. Hercules falls for the beautiful Iole, but must perform a series of grueling tasks when Iphitus is killed in a tragic accident. When the mysterious Jason, Fabrizio Mioni, appears and claims to be the rightful king, he, Hercules and the Argonauts set sail for the legendary Golden Fleece. Hey there folks, thank you for watching to the very end. Please always stay tuned, subscribe, like, and share to your friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.